It's over for now. The airstrikes, the rocket barrages have come to an end. But in Gaza, it never ends. 16-year-old Mahmoud surveys what, until Saturday, was his home in Gaza's Sheikh Ajlin neighborhood. You feel like you don't have a life here, he says. For more than 20 years, this small strip of land, home to two million people, has reeled from one round of death and destruction to another. In Gaza City Shifa Hospital, 10-year-old Miyar Shikyan is recovering from shrapnel wounds to her shoulder, chest and abdomen. She was wounded on her way to the corner store. Her 11-year-old cousin, Hossam, was also wounded. Miyar's mother, Mona, despairs for the children's future. It seems when I die, she says, the generations after me will inherit bigger and bigger wars. In the next room, two-year-old Bashir lies sleeping, shrapnel lodged in his head. Outside the hospital, life goes on. The markets are bustling. Gaza seems to have an incredible ability to bounce back war after war. But each one of these wars leaves yet another layer of scars. Psychologist Ayesh Samur has been treating people here for decades. He lists the woes awaiting the young. No work, no life, the feeling there's no tomorrow, he says. It's as if they're on death row, no hope, no optimism. Ten-year-old Atalla tries to find buyers for his mint, no luck. Surviving war, surviving peace. It's all a struggle that never ends. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Gaza City.